as Amnesty, we are concerned that the last five years of human rights deterioration in the country could be could continue in the, to the next five and we, we would like to see accountability for the violations of the last five years but also to see the system mended so that in the next five years are better than the last and that human rights continues to be upheld as was before 2015. We are receiving reports that there are nine people, others are saying it's three people. We are yet to verify that as Amnesty International. Uh, but if what is being reported is true, uh, that people have been killed, we would, we would like to call on the Tanzanian government to ensure that these cases are investigated and everyone who's uh, found to be uh, responsible for these killings whether they, they are the ones who shot these people or they had command responsibility for those uh, the officers who are at the scene, these people are held to accountable following uh, free, open and transparent investigations. We would like to call on the authorities to, um, to restore access to the internet because people have a right to access information regarding this election and any other matters affecting their lives and to shut down the internet or to restrict um, the, the, uh, the flow of information must, if it's to be done, it must be done within the law and uh, the authorities must be uh, alive to that reality and allow freedom of expression to prevail. Uh, there is no need to shed blood in Tanzania because of elections, and they, but the people have the right to express themselves and to voice their anger. So I would call on the government of Tanzania, the authorities in Tanzania, to ensure that people's right to a peaceful assembly is respected and all other rights, including the right to freedom of expression. That way the government is under obligation to only use force in cases where it is absolutely necessary and the level of force must be proportionate to the threat and it must be used as a last resort.